Hello, I'm Carmen Cox with Chairs Legacies. We're here to help you tell your story. And one way we do that is with Forever Storage, which is permanent, secure, and shareable. It is our recommended storage for photos, videos, documents, and stories for you and for generations to come. And today I'm gonna to share how to upload files create albums, and add tags, which are the three basic things to get started. And if you don't have an account, look below and sign up for a free account, and then you can do this process with me. I encourage people to stop the video after I've completed a task and try it yourself, and then come back and start the video and do the next task. Okay, so now let's get started. So this is when you log in, this is your front page. And uh, we're gonna start here on the left side at the library. And it's so easy uh, to do this. All you have to do is look for this blue button, upload. Come down to select files. And this has brought up my downloads. This is not where I want it. So I'm gonna come over here and find where I want it. I, my file is actually this time on my desktop. So I'm gonna hit these two files. I'm gonna hit control so I can hit more than once here. And I'm gonna add those and it's that quick and easy. And then they are in my library and we're gonna do upload and you're like, oh, they're not there. Probably the, the metadata is telling me that it's not taken. So I'm gonna look newest first. And there it is, there's the, those two document, those two files or photos. So let's say I really don't want these. I'm just gonna show you this right now, uh, extra, is I can delete them. If I delete from the library, even if this is an album, if I delete from the library, it's gonna be deleted, okay? It will stay in your delete bin for 60 days so you can retrieve it, but it is deleted. Some people put their, their photos in their albums and they, they can delete from their library. No, you do not want to delete from the library unless you really want to get rid of it. So I'm going to delete that from there. So then I'm going to come to my albums and show you another way to add. So if I already have albums created, which I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, this is how I would add to an album. I would open the album and I'm going to, and I'm going to put it in this album, Kobe Story. I'm going to go to upload again. I'm going to find these. Whoop. Hit the wrong thing. Control. Now they are uploaded to the place that I want them. So you can see they're right here uploaded. Okay. Easy. Okay. The next, so that's how you upload a file. I'm going to show you some different ways to create an album. So if I'm on my, let's just say we're gonna, this is my first level. So this is what I see when I open it up first. I'm gonna go to a new album and I'm gonna number it because I want it to show up first. I'm gonna number it 0002, I want it towards the front. I later will get rid of this, but for now I'm just naming it that. So it'll show up towards the front of my albums. I'm gonna put Claire's story. If I want it right here, I could put the description and I could give it an album date. I usually don't. And I can change my privacy setting. I'm going to leave it at private. If it's public, that means anyone who's searching on forever can see it. If it's connections, that means anyone that you have a connection with or a group, which we'll talk about in another video, um, can see it. And then it groups would be specific groups that you've made. Again, we'll talk about that in a different video, but I'm going to create that album. I'm going to go back and you can see there it is. It's the first album. Uh, I want to show you one other thing. Then you can nest albums under there. So this, I open up the album. I come to the fourth one over, add nested. Uh, and I'm going to say Claire's story homeschooled because I'm going to put some files in there for her. And then that one is nested 
under there. So that's so that is the way. I'm going to show you another way to um, create an album in a minute. But first, we're going to go to tags, and I'm going to show you a way to add tags. So I'm going to go back to Kobe's album, and I'm going to go nested under there is his birth. And all of these are probably tagged, but we're going to pretend not. So I'm going to click on all the ones of Kobe that have Kobe in it. Because I don't want to tag one at a time. You can. But this is much faster. So I'm clicking on all these. Add tag. If I start typing, I already have that tag. His name will come up. And I can tag him. And it's that quick. Okay. Another way to tag is if I opened up this file. So maybe the picture, the people in it are so small, I'm not sure. I can't tell from here, right? So let's just open up this one, okay? Then I can tag from here, which is in the description over here. Uh, I can edit, we'll talk about that. Another one, describe, change the date, but down here I can add a tag. So if there was somebody not tagged, I can do it here and save it. That's a much slower, but I could go through all of these and make sure that they're tagged with everybody that I want tagged. Okay, so that's how to add a tag. So I want to show you one other uh, way to add a tag and how to create an album all at once. So a quick way to do this. So we're going back to my library. You can do this from anywhere, actually. But I'm going to click this one and this one. So I have two. If you see, when I say click, this green light hangs up. It, it will light up. I'm going to go to this one. If this is from here, you can see I can add it to an album. So I can add it to an album this way. Um, I can add a tag. But I want to show you this bulk organizer, which is cool. So I want to come here. And I can start typing, but let's say that what I want doesn't have an album yet, right? So uh, I'm going to name this Wake Forest Scenery. I don't have an album like that. I'm going to hit return, and it has it has put these photos in and created this album at the same tag time. And then I can uh, add a tag, Wake Forest. I could edit the name if I want here. I can add a description. I can change the date. So what I've done is I've created the album. I've added these files to it. And um, I've tagged all at once. So I save changes. And then if I come down to the bottom, because it's Wake Forest Scenery, you can see there is the album created. So those are two ways to do, uh, To just to recap, the two ways to create an album. You can go to albums and hit new album, or you can create an album in that bulk organizer. Uh, also, you can upload files to the library, or you can add and then add them to your albums later, or you can add files to the actual album. And then third, adding tags, you can go to open up any, any, uh, place and you can click make sure the green thing's coming up and then add tags there okay i hope that helps and gets you started and i will be back for a part two fairly soon see ya